<laughs> yeah, oh my god, the doom. Oh my god, doom, man. I can't. Ooh, a bit bunny. Whoa, what? Are you humping the dead bunny? Don't fucking hump dead bunnies. What was that? <laughs> I killed the bunny in the chest there. Come on. Come on. I wait for no glowing white lady. Oh boy. Alright, let me go first, you order. No! <laughs> Well, that's why I went first. That's why I always go first. <laughs> no. Hello? No, stop! Oh, no. I can't even pick up the phone! I dropped the phone on my fucking pole. Hey, Look at him, really <laughs> I failed basic phone pick it up. Uh, Jesus. What is this dance? Oh my god, Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you get paid by the hour for doing nothing? Shush now. Shush now. I'm gonna blind do it. I'm gonna. Oh! I cannot believe that works. <laughs> I literally cannot believe I did that. <laughs> we should have a pretty easy time getting those the stuff over there though. No! No! Oh! Oh! Oh my god, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! I feel like you've been working this forklift truck truck for like five hours. I <laughs> I've pretty much since the start of the stream been doing forklift. I've basically just been doing a job as a harbor forklift guy, and then slowly, like every day, a little bit of story is revealed to me. But yeah, mostly for like five hours, it's been this. <laughs> Pretty bizarre. This game is fucking wild, man. Yeah. Should we hide, uh, should we hide on the hill? And these then, like, should hide on the hill. Yeah. yeah, the dimple hills, right to the left here a little bit. We should clear this though. There could be people up here. Yeah, yeah. I like it now, right here. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> that yeah. was amazing. Beautiful. Damn. There's some ammo God here. God damn. Oh, there's some ammo. Yeah. Eight eggs. Eight eggs. There's an AR. Yeah, baby. There's an AR flash Wait. hider there if you want it. Oh, wow, fucking eight eggs in that little butthead. Help me find him. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Right, I was talking to Jazz about this game before, and I was telling telling her about this village of all females that are all like super muscly, and her first reaction was, "Oh, can you have sex with them?" And I was like, "No, you can't do that in a Zelda game." And she just burst out laughing. I was just like. Why is that your first reaction to, to that in this game? <laughs> yeah. 
It must be winter. Milby is his shoulders covered. That's what. That's how you tell if it's going to be a cold winter or not. And now we find out if the winter will be a cold winter or a warm winter. Let's head over to Milby and see if he's wearing a t-shirt. I am. He is wearing a t-shirt. It will be a cold winter this year. Wake me up before you go, go. Because I'm not planning on riding solo. Because I have a fear of abandonment. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Okay. Tell, tell me what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You treat this fellow well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. You just shrink. Did this host just shrink on me? How much did you pay for oh, son of a bitch! You fucking bitch! Give me that goddamn chicken back. Come here. Give me that goddamn chicken back. Give me that chicken. Ah! God damn it! Give me that goddamn chicken back, you son of a bitch. Go. Ah. To fucking cat. Ugh. You fucking piece of shit. God damn it. <laughs> oh, she's a nightmare. She's a goddamn nightmare, that cat is. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? That was insane. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. That was the craziest kill. Oh, Patty. Oh, Patty, no. Oh, you just threw up on my phone. What? Why did you just why did you just pick my phone to throw up on? What, what, what's happening? What's happening? What are you doing? Why are you putting a boxing glove on? Why are you putting a boxing glove on? Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Abyss! Slow mo. Abyss! Slow mo. What? Why are you doing a slow mo? Come on. Okay. <laughs> Where does this come from? Have you been watching something where they do slow motion boxing? I <laughs> <laughs> can speed it up. If she wants to clip that and speed it up, it'll look really good. Okay. I don't know what brought that on. I don't know. I guess so. I guess you're right. I told you. I'm going to win this in front of everyone and prove that I'm the, the best. Friendships oh, were meant to fly. Big slice across the sky. <laughs> Can't stop because we're so high. <laughs> Let's slice this one more time. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi, hello, everybody. Oh. It is Monday. Sorry, I, sorry, I've been haven't been live yet. I had some uh, bit of trouble getting up this morning, and then a parcel for Jazz turned up. So I was like, oh, so I went to go to her house and drop it off to her mum, who I was then talking to for a while. Uh, so yeah, it took <laughs> took me a uh, it took me a while to to do all that. I am trying to get myself back into a more normal schedule. It's slowly getting there. Trying to get myself to record more YouTube videos again as well. I know everyone says take all the time you need, but unfortunately, uh, financially, I can't. <laughs> it's a case of being like, yeah, I could take the time I need, but then my career will collapse. So, uh, like, I, li I literally can't take all the time we need. I need. People said they'll always be here, but trust me, the numbers they don't lie. I can see. I, I see numbers. They don't lie. But you know, either way, I'm just being realistic. I'm just being realistic here in that, like, I can't afford to just wallow in misery and stuff. Um, you know, I gotta, I have to plow forward, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Well, yeah, well, I'll always be served. You're not allowed not to be. I actually had a really good idea. I say I say a really good idea. It was a, st a stolen idea from um, Ezekiel's stream. He does a thing where if you have a hundred months of being subscribed, you get to pick a uh, a game for me to play for like a stream, and then if I like it, I'll play more. But I was like, man, that's a good idea. I'm pretty sure it's only Falchion. No, there might be one of. I think there's someone else who's got a hundred as well. But I was like, that's a cool idea. There was a, I, I heard him mention it, and I was like, oh, that's a kind of a cool f thing for, like, doing that. So I don't know. That, uh, I was thinking about that. It could be an idea, you know? One of those things you, you can, like, once you hit 100, you can just take as much time as you want to pick a game, and then, be, you know, when, you, when you're ready, you let me know. You can't have one Batman because it's it's forever like that. <laughs> yeah, I just found it. It's, it's it's an interesting thing, you know. I feel like if you're at a hundred, you don't care at this point anymore. So if it would be like, it could be. If I was like, that's a kind of an interesting idea, though. Less of a, wow, I'll never get there. More of a, oh, that's kind of like, you know, just like a thank, just more of like a thank you, you know? But then people always take it the wrong way. <laughs> so, yeah. No, no, you don't get to pick what I do. You get to pick a game for me to play for a stream. Any game in the world. Unless it can't be played on Twitch. Not what to do in the game. <laughs> Just a game. Nee, 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 nee. 
But I don't know. I thought that was cool. I saw, I saw her mention it, and I was like, that's kind of a cool idea. My hair is insane right now. I washed it yesterday, and I forgot to, like, put the hair gel in, so it's just kind of... It's slice slept, and it's because I slept on it while it was kind of half dry. It's just kind of dried in a really strange Rubber way. baby baby bunkers! Melv Milflex will mil brew Milflex from Melv can't stay for the stream, but have a good one. Oh, thank you very much, Barov. Yeah, I don't know how long the stream's going to be today. Uh, it might not be super long, but we'll see. I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a little better right now because I, I made some... Um, some personal discoveries about myself that I am uh, happy about. The beard sneaking back up. Uh, it's just stubs, you know? I don't shave every day. I think I shaved on Friday? I don't know. Is something I'm able to talk about? No. No, not really. It's a bit personal. Um, maybe one day. I don't know. It's uh, it's just something about myself that I'd never really quite realized until recently in talking with Jazz. And um, it's made me realize why I do some of the things I do <laughs> and why some of the things about our relationship were the way they were. It's just, um, yeah, it's, uh, oh, I don't know. You can move. What the fuck? I don't know you could do that. She made me realize a couple of things. I'm like, huh. Okay. That's an interesting thing. That's an interesting thing about me that I never... It's like, you know, with all this... I've had nothing but time to think over the last couple of days. And it's it's definitely made me, like, reflect a shit. It's crazy how much you can reflect on stuff in a relatively short amount of time when all you have to do... When all you have is time to reflect on stuff, you know? Right, I gotta go grab the other wire. I still haven't seen the Spider-Man movie yet. I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go. Yeah, I keep, I keep <laughs> being like, right, who wants to come watch it with me? And then people are like, yeah, and then I just, I'm sorted out here. No one's going to spoil it, Blast. Come on, now. Everyone knows better than that here. Cancelled mid journey. Oh god, jeez. Well, oh, that was it. There was a lady here that I think I can hire. How have you all been over the weekend? your funeral? Oh, huh? <laughs> I went to a wedding. 
which was equally as tragic for me personally. <laughs> like it was just like, it was like a happy, but also just like, oh, this is fucking horrible. And I had a, uh, my booster yesterday. My arm is a little bit sore, but not too bad. Okay, can't walk by there apparently. So you mean Batman, yeah. I think one of my friends has found that in talking to me as well. He went through the same thing I am. Do you working your ass off and dealing with your baby mama drama? Oh, oh dear. And is it, are we gonna is someone to hire for our cabaret, I think? Yo, yo, what's up, baby? You wanna work at a cabaret club? Designer brand name, coat or a scarf, okay. Yeah, I uh, actually really wanted to try out the, uh, that beta for Dungeon Fighters, uh, Dungeon Fighting, Dungeon Fighters fighting game. Um, oops, I went past it. It looked really fun, I just didn't get the chance to. I like the way, I like what they're doing with the the moves and stuff, so it's not like crazy inputs and shit. Oh. I think he just might be working on the, uh... Maybe he's just working on the, uh... <laughs> you know... Apologize later rather than ask. Like, ah, oh, I had no idea. Should have told me. The wedding was interesting um, because, like, people were like, it was like people everywhere, you know? It was great. Like the old times. But <laughs> afterwards, you're like, it's going to be some kind of, like, fucking super spreader event. But so far, I think only, like, two people have actually tested positive from it, so. It's pretty good. It'll go. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this time I have now. Um, with just me <laughs> to really like knuckle down with work and you know do some shit that I, I didn't or couldn't do before and um, see how far I can take this thing you know I gotta fight you guys as well. Oh! <laughs> 
No, it doesn't bother doesn't mean you'll be bedridden. The whole point of the vaccinations is to like, you know if you get if you do get it, it just it, the idea is that it won't hit you as hard, you know. You're like a lot less likely to. If my booster was so fast, it was amazing. Like I went in, talked. I went I literally Parked up, went into the hospital, because they told me I had to be there. I walked right in. No line or anything. Normally there's a huge queue. Went right in, went to the front. They were like, oh, yeah, Max, uh, free right there. I went right to the front. They saw my name. I went right there. She was like, are you okay for this? I was like, yeah. She went, and I was like, oh, it's done. And then I walked out, and then as I was walking out, there was a massive queue. <laughs> I literally got in right before the queue. It was hilarious. It took like it took only took me about two, three minutes for the whole thing to happen. But literally like as I was leaving in those two, three minutes, a huge queue had formed <laughs> to get in. And I was just like, man, I timed that so goddamn perfectly. It was amazing. So I celebrated by going to get a Greg's and I got a festive bake and it was nice. I see what you mean about that, Red, Red Zeph. That's, that's, that's how I feel a lot about uh, turn-based stuff, is after a while it starts to feel like very stale. Although even in this, sometimes you tend, you tend to feel like you're doing the same shit. There's only so many combos I suppose you can do, but you feel like you're in more control, I guess. But I, I, I get what you mean. You deal with a heavy hangover on Friday? Mm. Yes, I was hungover Saturday. Which is funny, because I didn't feel like I drunk that much at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, well, hang, on a minute, hang on a minute. I just thought something else I need to write down. So I mean, I've been writing down a lot of my thoughts lately. I could write a fucking book, honestly. I had my mum read something I, I, I wanted to say to Jazz the other day um, before we stopped talking for a bit. Um, she was like, that is fucking beautiful. <laughs> so that's really nice. That's like, you write, that's like a goddamn, it's like, it's extremely well written. I was like, oh, thank you. Honestly, I feel like I could write a book with the amount of shit I've written down about how I've been feeling and, and about me and her. It's mad. It does help though writing it down. It kind of, it feels like a, it feels like a release almost. Where I'm like, oh, finally. She blocked me? No, she hasn't blocked me. It's very different. It's very different feelings on both sides. Jazz, I think. I still really love Jazz. She doesn't feel that way about me anymore. But she doesn't hate me, and we don't hate each other. Um, so, like, I can't talk to her because it's not helping me move on, you know? Um. But yeah, I, it's it's a, it's 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 for me the reason I'm not talking to her. It's to help me, and she understands that. She said, "I fully, I fully understand that, and whatever you have to do for you, you got to do." You know, it's.
It's uh, it's not something I want to do, but it's something I have to do to be able to find like any kind of piece. Because <laughs> yeah, I love talking to Jazz, but and I would I would do it forever, but it's not helping me move on at all. I mean, I've always liked writing, actually. I used to write, it's funny, I actually, I haven't written, I haven't been writing, I haven't done writing in a very long time. I used to write all the time in school. Um, like, constantly. Um, and that's why I always say, shum shum, slippity dop. When I, when we were in, thank you very much, Solar Rice, for the 47 months. When we were in, when, when I was in a class, rather than listen to the teacher, I would just write stories. I, I would just sit there and write stories uh, <laughs> that interested me. Like, just uh, they, they, they're all sitting there on a notepad somewhere. Like, they, they'd all be, like, fantasy stuff. Like, and I just create, like, wild ideas and just kind of run with them. Not, like, sex shit, but, like, just, just, like, like a fantasy novel or something. Just, you know, just sci-fi shit like that. I would just write a story down and I swear I have I have a book that must have like 40 50 pages worth of a story down on there. Don't know where it is anymore. I don't know if they still exist somewhere, but yeah, I used to It's funny, we'd be like in English class, we'd be trying to do something and it looks like everyone's working and I am, but what I'm actually doing is I'm paying zero attention to what's happening in class and I'm just writing a story for myself. And I would do that in most classes. <laughs> That's why I fucking suck so much in school, because I was doing stuff, but I was doing stuff that I wanted to do, not the actual work. Anything I'm proud of? Don't know, I can't even remember what the fuck I wrote. Probably was all pretty shitty, to be honest. I used to do drawing as well. Uh, I used to make, like, stick figure, stick figure fights and stuff like that when I was really bored. I'd have, like, a multi... multi multi-paged like anthology of stick figure fights and shit yeah I've, I, I've I've always I've always been decent at writing stuff um I'm a I'm a fairly articulate person um so like yeah I, I don't find it too hard to write out my feelings and, and stuff like that and, and shit. And shit like that. Oh god, I forgot she looked like a nightmare Velma. Alright, you wanna go for another round of training, I chan? Hi. Sure, I'll do my best. Think of me as a regular customer. Just like last time. Okie dokie, here we go then. <laughs> Forgot about that stupid laugh. Oh, 50 chads, 50 chads of Anders was Anders wrote it out. And then I read it out loud to Pyro. And it was amazing. It was amazingly incoherent, and I loved every second of it. <laughs> it's great energy. Keep it up. Let's see here. All right. Uh, let's talk relationships, Sai Chan. Can I ask you some questions? Do we have to? No pervy questions. Damn. 
<laughs> it's a shame. Let's get right to it then. What kind of guy is you into, I chan Like type of man, huh? Someone who's kind, I think. A mature guy. Understands other people's feelings. Sounds right up your alley. Does that mean you're into older guys? <laughs> so the older guy is a yes. I'm an older guy. Gray hair, okay then. Old guys fall for you. Gray hair. I'm an older guy. <laughs> Let's go pervy. Hey, I'm an older guy. Chan, maybe I got a chance of you. Whoa, please don't shout like that all of a sudden. You startled me. Sorry, I got caught in the moment. Damn, I thought that would I thought she I thought she'd appreciate that, but it did not work at all. Yeah, that was lame. Damn, that did not work that did not work out the way I thought it would at all. Okay, let's take the opposite approach. What kind of guy turns you off? Hmm. Axel High and Mighty, like those guys who have a really bad attitude towards the staff at a club. Yeah, I know the type. They make the staff bend over backwards. <laughs> Probably makes him feel like a cabaret god. So, so, so you... I, see, I don't think I could like anyone who can't be considerate of others. Mm, well, at least you got a consistent internal system there. Speaking of which, Wajima-san, what's going on inside your head when there's a customer with a bad attitude? Hmm, let me think. Part of the job. Yeah, it's annoying, but it's a deal. I deal with it because it's part of the Doom business. It's all about patience. So manly, Majima san. You're quite mature. Too cool. <laughs> Don't pay a single yen to get all ticked off about every little thing in this line of work. You gotta be smart about that kind of stuff. You're right. I learned something today. So, Ai-chan, how many guys have you dated? Give me a number. Oh, don't ask for people's numbers. That's not a good idea. Why did Donkey Kong have to go to the dentist? He was suffering from tooth decay. <laughs> Is that like where his teeth turn into little Donkey Kongs? Uh, thank you, Domo, for the thousand biddies. That's a, that was a good, that was a good bad joke. Maybe I should get back into writing. Might be a good uh, pastime for when I'm bored. When I'm, rather than just writing out my feelings all the time. Start a diary. Second. There'll be fanfic streams. <laughs> I, uh, I was thinking the other day about YouTube and shit and streams, and I was like, I wonder if it would, like, behoove me to hire an editor. I've been thinking about that for a long time. But I've always been like, no, I can handle all this on my own. Um, but. It would free, it would give, it would free up a lot more time for me. But then also, I don't know if I could afford to hire an editor at the moment. <laughs> so I don't know. I'd be one of those things where I'd have to do a bit more to be able to think about that. How many guys have you dated? Do you really have to go there? This is embarrassing. So it's just between me and you, okay? Embarrassing. Why? Are we talking triple digits? Oh, no way. Jesus Christ. 
20, if you dated over 100 people, if you dated now, and by dated I mean like gone out with them, over 100 people, or at least 100 people when you're 22, like what? <laughs> you can't, it's just not possible, it's just not, it's just not possible. That's like, it's like the show X on, there's a show that was on, I don't know if it's still on or not, but, um, oh, I'm not getting into TikTok. Fuck that. TikTok's, TikTok, TikTok scares me and I, I have no interest in TikTok. <laughs> oh God, no, I don't, it's too scary for me. But then, but maybe, um, no, it's, uh, what was I going to say? I lost my mind there now. There's a show called X on the Beach, and yeah, that was it. And basically the show is, is like these people go on this beach thinking they're going on this holiday, but what the show is actually about is what they, they do is they slowly introduce their exes onto the beach, and they're all just awful people, and they all just like fight all the time and shit. Um, I've never made a TikTok in my life. Um, anyway, yeah. So, uh, they, uh, they, 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 they bring the axes onto the beach, uh, like, over time. It's very trashy. It's great. And it's a fucking nightmare. But, then they explain, they're like, oh, this is your ex, right? And these people are so vapid. Their idea of an ex, and because, like, the show was obviously like, man, we need to find these axes. Oh, wait, they've never dated anyone. All of these axes, they're just one night stands. And I'm like, that's not an ex. That's a one night st You didn't go out with someone when you had a one night stand. That doesn't make them your ex. That's just someone you had sex with. That's like, they're, they're so, the people in it are so vapid and so shallow that most of them don't even have an ex. There are some that were in like relationships and they come and they fell apart. But like, most of that show is just the, it's just them putting people they banged once or twice. And then didn't talk to again. And it's, I'm just like, what? What? You're really scraping the barrel here. I'm not above watching those trashy shows. I, I, I have no, I have no, uh, I have no qualms of watching those trashy shows now and then. Oh God, Jesus. Uh, occasionally people bang. There's some banging, but. You've already watched, she's waited one guy for real? But you must have a line of guys out the door, you Velma looking motherfucker. So who was the lucky fella? He was a customer at my last club. He was really persistent about going out with me, so... I see. Do you think in this line of work you'd end up dating your customers more often? My last club didn't really have any rules against it, so quite a few girls were dating customers. In my case, we broke up in like three weeks though. Again, three weeks, a three week long relationship. That's, yeah. Why? Temptation Island. That also sounds like too hot to handle or whatever the hell it's called. Like a Netflix show where they put a bunch of, what well, I can only assume are sex addicts on, a, on an island and then tell them all, and they're all very attractive people. And then they tell them all that there's this pot of money that they can win. But every time any of them does anything sexual with each other, they lose the money. And it's like everyone on the island, they'd share, the, I think they, what it is is at the end, they'd share the money out between everyone. But every time someone does something sexual with anybody, and their definition of sexual is very loose. Like it's very, very, it's tight, sorry. It's like some really weird shit, like kissing counts technically. And anytime they do anything like that, the overall pot of money that everyone shares goes down, and people just keep doing it. Like, it's like, don't, don't bang, or you will lose money. Oh, fuck it, let's bang. And it, uh, so, like, I have to assume that everyone on those shows is a sex addict. Oh, 
Oh yeah, no, that's 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 one of the problems. Happy P is X on the beach was fun for like the first two seasons where they could trick people, but then after a while they start to know what's going on and. I think a lot of the time they advertise it as like a different show and then they trick them into being on a different show. But a lot of people, after like the first season or two, it becomes a lot more people playing a game. The first season's always the funnest when no one has any idea what's going on or what's going to happen. Those are always fun. But yeah, no, usually a season or two afterwards, it's, it kind of falls apart. I, uh, dumped, I, he dumped me. He said I wasn't like what he thought I would be. Isn't that awful? After he got my heart fluttering. Oh, God. This is a bit too real for me right now. <laughs> that sucks, yeah. What kind of reason is that, though? Can't force a girl to be like the one in your head. Hmm, I didn't talk too much when I was with him, I guess. He didn't like that. He told me, I thought you were more outgoing. You're not the same person. You were being real. You gotta, you gotta talk though. I mean, you do gotta talk in a relationship. That's for sure. I mean, there's two answers here. She was being real, but you do have to talk. I'm gonna say you were being real. I think that'll probably get more points. Well, even though it's a bit pandering. Hard to imagine you being all quiet. The side of yourself you don't show to a boyfriend. I'm kind of jealous. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, we got it. You're such a positive person. I never thought of it like that. Really, that's funny. Uh -huh. I fucking hate her. <laughs> it honestly sounds like someone's like reversed the laugh. Eh? What's so funny about that? No, no, don't get me wrong. You just made me happy. Oh, Majima-san, I kind of wish you were my boyfriend. All right, I'm in. I don't know what's going on right now, but if you're having a good time, then so be it. Hmm. I wonder what you'd be like if you were head over heels in love with a guy. Right, well, love is... I, I, this, is this is not a conversation I want to be doing in a game right now, but oh well. <laughs> Whoa, intense. You don't understand? I'd be thinking about him all the time. So you go all in, huh? If you fall in love, you go after a fella like a woman possessed? Oh no, I'm not brave enough to do something like that. Just thinking about it, my heart starts racing. Hmm, that's a surprise. So how would you deal with those love, love, love feelings, eh? Hmm, I'd keep it all balled up. He'd eventually find a different girl and I'd probably be broke, heartbroken. Jesus, that is, that is not a good idea. Don't you think they're missing out on life that way? Of course I do. I know that, but what can I do? Oh, sorry, that was insensitive. Damn it! For maybe I'd call her out. <laughs> Did not work. Did not work. It's not cute. That's not cute, but all right. Yikes, that's a long time to be in the doghouse. Oh, well. I failed that one miserably. Okay, you want to call her there? God, God damn, you got to panda really hard in this one. Let's go. Doo-doo! Hey, Depo, please. Oh. Well, I'm currently trying to, like, solidify um, like a, a better um, more solid schedule at the moment for streams. I just haven't really uh, done that yet. Rinky Tiki Tabby, bitch! No love, no love, no love. Wanna be a girl? Uh oh, somersault jump. Crime time. Crime time?
No jumping in the sewer. No love. Uh... Oh shit, free subs. Um, that was insanely synchronized. Love a love a dub dub! Depocles, Blaze of Ice, in the Kano Mori, Mascarpone of... Uh, Mascarpone of... Mascarpone... Two here. Oh, oh, Christ. Christ. <laughs> I, you know what? Mars. Uh, thank you for the fee. I know I didn't see a name, but my brain's not working. Thank you for the 39. Kara, thank you for the free. Blaze of Ice, thank you for the four. Depocles, thank you for the 21. I can't. Have I Cubs defeated? So I've only defeated Mars and Jupiter. So I've got to. It's Mercury I need to be doing right now. Rubber baby baby bunkers! Fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, Blaze of Ice, thank you for the f five gift subs. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Gifting a sub to Red Zef, Weapon Excellent, Achoo, that guy Mr. AP, and One Man Wolf Pack. You've all been gifted a beautiful little muscly arm. And uh, thank you to Happy P for the two months. Fuck it. Oh, thank you everybody. And the hype train. Choo choo. And thank you for the hundred oh, biddies, Grand. As I tab back from catching up on the VOD. And here, I think you stick fight for the hundred biddies. Oh shit, humble zebra. Not gonna miss the train. Thank you very much for the thousand biddies. Ain't gonna miss that train. Um Free much bad to my own. No arms. jumping in the sewer. The honor. Uh, the 100 month one is modeled after mine. It's just muscles on muscles. No, it's not. Uh, thank you, Obetreus, for the 37 months as well. It's a good hype train, yes. It's a good hype train. Enjoy long sessions. So do I, do I need to, like, adjust who was on duty for that? I don't know. Let's just open for business and let's do Mercury. Look at that grimace looking motherfucker over there. Is this the train to Cabaret City? Where the girls are weird and the grass is green. Take me down to a cabaret city. Skill and funny. And sexy. Da, da, da. Blaze of Ice gifting another five subs. Oh my gosh, Blaze. Dragon Master, Mr. Twitch, RG Day, RGD, Shattered Mirror, and Jebediah. Jebediah Springfield. That is a guest glass. 
Thank you, Ethrad, for the 100 biddies. Oh my god, level, eight, level 5 high frame. Man, it's really hard to make the wealthy people happy. Ladies glass. Ladies glass. Refill ice. That's what that one is. That's what that one is. Couldn't remember what the the bullhorn thing was about. Yeah, the wealthy people is like, it's like real, it's real high. I just don't seem to have the people, the wealthy people. They need like, they need like some real high skilled people to apparently uh, please the wealthy people. Yeah, it's ass for ash tree. Uh, refill ice. Ice cool guys. We're still looking at stuff here. Eh, you can do that one. If we're lucky, Sunshine Fever will hit that. Nope. I, the, the, the two I wanted to hit with Sunshine Fever did not get hit. Yeah, yeah, we got one of them. Give expensive gift. There you go. That's towel. I only feel bad for making her work here. Or making her, like hiring her to work here. She's just a mum, and I feel like we like tricked her into working here. Ladies glass, ladies glass. Oh shit, mega rich. Yeah, they got you. You gotta have some real high skilled people to <laughs> to. Uh, to please the, those mega richos. Okay, uh, hopefully we'll get lucky and get a, a chance to sunshine fever them. Oh, nice session extended, baby. Yes, glass. Ooh, okay. Let's swap him out. Yuki makes him happy. Uh, we'll have give praise the girl. Get a health HP back up a bit. A survey. And we'll do a <laughs> gif gift. <laughs> I think now is the time. Sunshine Fever, baby. Come on, hit that one. Damn, it didn't hit the Mega Rich. Shit. Shit. 
ってみましょう。準備とかないのかね。三歳児大切にしてありがとうございます。So now, guest home. Can't argue the girls. Get out of here. Hey, Dad. <laughs> What do you think Majima says when he swaps the girls out? Is it like an intercom? Uh, Yuki, can you go from table four, please? Table one and drain that wealthy bastard, please. Thank you. Oh, I got the squirrel hype train emo. At Tiagas, we'll see. <laughs> the referee whistle in the session. It's like a referee just to the side of a whistle, like. <laughs> This session of seduction is over. Yeah, I think there is a there's a there's a there's a hype train cooldown, so it doesn't get overhyped. I can't remember what it's at actually though. Hype train's not special, but you can just hype train whenever. <laughs> Foul play, inappropriate touching, yellow card, ten minutes on the bench, red card. You're out of here. Penalty shootouts. What? <laughs> I'm playing for the Devil May Cry series. I just beat DMC, but the first one, not the not the remake DMC, because there's Devil May Cry and then there's DMC Devil May Cry. The remake. Oh, I love the remake. I'm one of the rarer Devil May Cry fans that actually enjoyed the remake. Story. I want to do the story. Oh, sorry. Did I say remake? Yeah, I meant reboot. You know what I mean. Oh, sorry. Did I say remake? Yeah, I meant 
You have to play Devil May Cry 2. It's always worth playing the worst game in a series to know why it's so bad. Because I don't think you can ever really be informed. If you just skip over a bad one, I, I feel like you don't get the full appreciation of it. I don't feel like you should ever skip over a bad game in a series. Otherwise, you can never talk about it in an informed way. I don't think play the, play the worst first. Like, you, I mean, if it's really bad, you just can't finish it, then fair dues, but, like... I always think you should play even the pieces of shit in a series. Like, it's, yeah, you know, that's why I played through, uh, like, the sh when I was doing the Metroid stuff. I did games I don't even give a shit about. But, um... You can't really have an opinion on them if you don't even try them, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it's ever worth skipping them. You gotta, you gotta have the bad to appreciate the good, which is what I'm going through right now in my life. And, uh... You know, I'm trying to tell myself that sometimes. Because all people will be like, that game fucking sucks. And they be like, have you played it? Oh no, I just heard it sucks. And I'm like, well then you don't know. <laughs> you, you, you can't possibly have formed an opinion on the game you don't even know nothing about. You're just jumping on the you're just jumping on the train. Damn, that is bright. What the heck? Where are you where are we going? Devil May Cry One is fun but definitely aged. Devil May Cry two I have yet to play. But everyone has told me it's terrible. Devil May Cry three is fun. It's very fun. Devil May Cry 4 is, mm, is okay. Technically, not really finished Devil May Cry 4 as well. And Devil May Cry 5 is awesome. And DMC Devil May Cry is great too. Oh my god, that lady has gone way too hard on the fucking eye makeup. It's the Ben 10 in. Nishitani no Hanashi got a shikera, so you got on in our Matreo Makoto. どっちから行く。マズロッコシーナよ、総勢。俺は左。マジマちゃんは右。二手に分かれて女探すぞ。佐川半一人で大丈夫なんか心配すんなよ。見つけたら容赦なく殺すだけだろ。日京連だろうが
And that bit is just bizarre. There's actually a sign on the wall. It's like this little, like, it's like a little street. And there's, and there's like, it's got these, like, barriers on it that you have to go through. And it's got a sign on there that says no women allowed in there. And I was like, that's really weird. But apparently the reason they say that is because the fucking, the prostitutes will actually attack women who go in there because they think they're stealing, like, potential marks. So they like they were literally like, don't go in there because it's actually fucking dangerous for you to go in there. Because <laughs> at first I was like, why can't women? And they was like, no, no, that's for their safety because these the, these these prostitutes are terrifying. They will they will they will attack women if it looks like this. They're taking a potential like business away. It's bizarre. <laughs> これ以上奥へ進もうとすれば生きて返すことはできません。うん。それはよっぽど大事なもん奥に隠しとるんやな。ますます行くしかないやろ。どうしても引く気はないってことでいいんですね。当たり前やろが。不毒と言っとるんで
Don't do that, I bet First Devil May Cry is such a such an interesting game. Because it was originally envisioned as like you can really see that original like envisionment of it as a Resident Evil game when you play the first Devil May Cry. Great House of the Dead. Oh, it's this moment. It's the low, low health kick the shit out of the moon.
<laughs> These bits definitely get very repetitive, where it's just you fighting large groups of people over and over again. <laughs> So many broken balls. Delvin. Oh my god, there's so many. So far in five days of isolation, you managed to read two books. That's pretty good, right? Thank you. 
Oh god, oh god. guy. Oh my god, this fucking guy. Oh my god, this fucking guy. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> this fucking guy. This guy fucking sucks. I'm gonna use up all my heals on this guy and probably get fucked over on the boss now. Oh. Christ, is this my first Yakuza? Yeah. That guy kicked the shit out of me. Oh my god, like, my health. セラ。俺はお前の敵じゃない。せやったら組員を襲わせたのは何でや。それのまじま。お前の存在だ。3年前、突然と島の組から消えた組員がなぜ今総天堀にいるのか。そして、なぜ牧村誠に関わっているのか。
近江連合の佐川に弱みを握られてお前が動いたことは想像がついただがここからがわからないなぜ佐川を裏切って牧村誠を助けようとしたのか彼女の価値を知ってそれを独占しようとしたのか俺は誠の価値なんかそうお前は知らないじゃあなぜ危険を犯してまでここにたどり着いたあの女に惚れたってことかまさかなお前が俺の何を知っとんで俺が人助けたらあかんのかそうかっかするな何であれ彼女を助けたい一心だなわかったお前の気持ちを踏みにじる気はないだが今は登場界の未来を左右する重要な事態だすでに多くの血も流れてるもしも生半可なヒーロー気取りで首を突っ込んでるなら受け入れがたいお前の覚悟を知っておく必要があってな随分物騒なやり方やので確かめた結果はどないやねん俺は慎重派でね結論を出すにはやはり自分の手で出すのは、no, no, <笑>マジマもしも命をかけて牧村誠を守る覚悟があるなら俺を倒してみろそしたら誠の行方を教えてくれるんやなああ二言はないあんたのやり方にしたがんはシャクやが俺も手っ取り早いんは言葉より拳やええやろやったるわやったるお前の覚悟を見せてもらおう Gonna die so hard Oh he has so much health Oh dear Oh dear Kill me now Kill me now Let me get my health back Oh, this is gonna go bad. No, it's definitely not you have to die fight. I'm supposed to test my resolve to save Makoto. It wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Narratively, it wouldn't make any sense. This game is just very fucking mean. Fucking move where he got to the side and kicks you is such a piece of shit. I hate that move. Yeah. 
Oh my god, this fucking guy. Okay, it might be too no <laughs> might be too slow to uh use this mode. If he gets you that, you're just stuck in a combo. Ah, oh, it's nice. Sometimes those hit him, sometimes those down. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Keep going, keep going. No. No. No, no. No, don't stun lock me again. No, no, no. Oh, 
No! He just randomly parries me. What? No! What the fuck? What? Okay, so his second phase when he starts going purple is even worse, apparently. Because he'll just randomly parry you. And then you're just like, meh. You just, you just gotta be at his mercy then. Yeah, I lost all my healing on the way up here because I kept getting fucked over by the fan guy. This keeps happening to me. I like I lose all my healing on the way up, and then when it actually comes to like the, the boss, I have no healing. Rubber baby baby bunkers! Actually, have a weapon I can use? No, hang on. Uh, I might have a weapon I can use. Okay, to have a heat action, interesting. Uh. 
He just crushed my balls and killed me. Man just crushed my balls and killed me. Oh my gosh. Why do I always why do I always end up in boss fights without any healing? Let's get something ready for us, shall we? Just do that one. the damage. Oh, does it? But no. Oh. <laughs> Fuck it. Do it again. It definitely just reduce the damage, yeah? I guess if I use a different weapon, it might make it go back up again. Shouldn't have gone in too much there. Uh, get up. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, dude, this guy fucking sucks. Okay, I mean, I was, I was <laughs> trying to hit triangle quite a few times there, and he just fucking ruined me every time I tried. Maybe I'll have to like just go out and do it all again with more healing. I, I feel like I've kind of fucked myself not having healing here.
We still live? We well, went live two hours ago. <laughs> Don't want to try and win enemy attacks. Try break yet? Yeah. I don't know if that would be any good. I can't imagine it'd be that good though. I feel like he'd just fuck me over if I try to do that. Attacks the part of your finish burst regularly to lose track. Of you. Add some, use some stuff here to try and help me in this fight a little bit. I have here. I don't know how I've ended up with nothing here for some reason. Hopefully I've been playing this character I seem to have not ended up finding any of those. Oh, you fool. Oh my god. Use the fucking heat move. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, I'm just using the weapon for the damage. <laughs> I feel better using this one. 
You can actually like dodge properly with these. Get up, get up, get up, get up. God damn it, I really wish I could get up before he hit me with that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have the thing which like a, keeps lets me not lose durability. Oh no, no, there you go. One weapon. Oh no, yeah. It depends on each weapon, I see. Hmm. Pretty handy there. I didn't know you had those ones. Now, the problem with this guy is that if I attack him too much, he just kind of fucking parries me, regardless of what I'm using. This might be it. This is it. Oh my god. Oh. Definitely need to use weapons more on these bosses. さん会社の人間だ。不動産会社なんで不動産屋な。本人も知らないところで牧村誠と土地の所有者になっていたんだ。その一坪で10億と言われる殻の一坪のな。一坪10億。そんな土地どこにあるんや。お前のよく知った
空の一つぼを誰が手に入れるかで登場界が大きく揺れている土地の10億なんてな目先の金に過ぎない空の一つぼはカムロ町の再開発に絡んで莫大な金と権力をもたらす鍵なんだそれで極道が非力な女から力ずくで土地取り上げようとしてるっちゅうことかちょっと留守にしてる間に登場会も落ちたもんやな信用してくれ俺は決して彼女に危害を加えていないお前がそうやったとしても他の連中が誠を奪いに来るやろ現に車ごと爆破される寸前やったんやでせやのに不動産屋に渡してやと誠を奪ってくれ言うてるようなもんやないか普通の不動産屋とはわけが違う彼らの手に守られているうちは安全だ。不動産屋のことは、ah, that was a fight. その不動産屋の名前って聞き先を教えて。教えてどうする<笑>カムロチョへ行くに決まっとるやろ。それが、ますます彼女の命を危険にさらすことになるとしてもが。どういうことやカムロチョに向かうのはお前一人じゃ済まないだろう。佐川か。やつは必ず牧村誠を殺そうとするだろうお前がカムロ町に来るということは危険を持ち込むことになるんだ本当に彼女を思うなら蒼天堀にとどまり佐川を食い止めることが最良なんじゃないのか不動産屋が絶対に誠を守れる保証はあんのかもしも俺を信用できないんならその銃で俺を撃ち殺せ不動産屋の名刺は胸のポケットに入ってる死体から取って持ってけ俺はお前を信用して話したあとはお前が俺を信用するかどうかだにかすり傷一つ負わせたら承知せえへんぞ命がけで守るお前は蒼天堀にとどまり佐川をのの no. この泥棒ネコがナイス連携プレイだぜマジマちゃん俺に打たせるためにこいつを丸腰にしてくれたんだろこいつか牧村誠を託された不動産屋ってああほら喜べよ知りたかったんだろ We're definitely, we're definitely gearing towards a Kiryu、uh... Majima conf confrontation at some point. Tachibana Fudosa Kidu Katsu. I was wondering how they were going to tie them together. Makoto was a good way to. Makoto and the, 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 plot of, the plot of land in the city was a good way to do that. Ikitaidaro, Kamrocho. Enko. That teo. カムロ町行って牧村誠を探すしかねえじゃねえかこうなれよ地獄の果てまでもあの女を追いかけて殺すぞ<笑> The dance battle to end all dance battle arrives Nice Well, we managed to do that fight. That fight felt impossible at first, but we got there. Thank you for some help there, Coco. 
Definitely, uh, definitely helped me out a lot getting through that. ついに桐生を神室町に追い詰めるが立花の決死の覚悟が同島組の一瞬の隙をついたやがて殻の一粒を巡る熾烈な争奪戦はついに東日本の裏社会を牛耳る登場会本家をも巻き込んでいく目まぐるしく書き換わる極道たちの勢力図が新たな局面を迎える中桐生は事件の鍵となる空の一つぼの所有者の名を明かされたその人物の名は牧村誠蒼天堀にいるという彼女を神室町に無事連れ出すことが
I think I'm gonna do all the sub stories. Probably not. But I'm just kind of I'm just kind of playing the game and what I do I do. I'm not like deliberately going for 100 percent or trying to get everything. It's more like doing a lot of stuff. And you know, if I miss stuff, that's fine. But I don't want to like force myself to go between them all because I think I'll get really fed up with the game. Ooh, we're in Sotenbury with uh, Kiryu. That's kind of that's kind of cool. You got piss poor timing. Just missed the best damn fight in months. That ain't something you see every day. That rookie, what's his name? What the hell, like and sand dig him up? Ugh. I'd have made a killing if I'd bet on him. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm guessing this riverbed is some kind of fighting arena? Whoa, hey, you ain't part of that happy little club? Then shit, I need to stop running my damn mouth. Got too excited there for a sec. Still, you got a nice build on you. If you wanted to compete, you'd probably be do pretty damn, pretty good down there. Compete? Yeah, in the bed of sticks. It's an arena, like you said. Yeah, if you're interested, I'll take you there. Just give me a shout. Sure, why not? <laughs> Start the cabaret life. Time to get into cabaret. Rank G. Devil Spree, Howling Romp. Sure, one First match. Kazuma! Kiriwa! Wow, damn man, this guy's 19 years older than me. <laughs> Oh god, I got the wrong, I got the wrong uh, fine stance on. Uh, the guy's invincible. What the fuck? Hero by day, villain by night, fist of God. Hit the sack, Jack. I don't always use Twitch. I don't use Twitch when I do have a fair movie. Oh, thank you, Tadwood, for the five months of support. I appreciate it. Cyclist Wajima. 
Cyclist Regina. Speedy Murder Thief. 3,000 bicycle thefts? Oh my god. 3,000 bicycle thefts? That's a lot of bikes. Oh no. Dedication, it is dedication. <laughs> the man's dedicated to his craft. Whoops. First match. Damn, I should have looked at what it's uh, crimes were. Fuck, <laughs> I'm a fool. Peeping Shibata. Two knows he, he does look like a peeping Tom. Actually, it looks more like he just. It's not for those signs of things. It sounds like he just learned something he wasn't supposed to, that he was a peeping Tom, but he looks like a creepy peeping Tom. Fortune to move. Wait, we fought that guy. <laughs> He's like the first guy you fight in the last one. I did throw my opponent, but alright. I guess I didn't throw it the way they wanted.
Hmm. I guess I have to up my uh, class a bit before I can do this. If only it was that easy to throw someone around like that. I hope at some point I get the ability to come to and from Sotenbori with Kiryu whenever. Like I don't, it's not, this isn't just, just for now. If there's any like story stuff for this guy here. Seem like it. And they'd be like, "Yo, it's the guy. It's the so. It's the it's the king of dancing from that town." I feel like I need a, a Friday night to cheer me up a bit. Starting to feel that weird sense of like uh, crushing dread uh, right now that I get when I start thinking about jazz. Turn off the stream on my phone during the fighting. That's 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 Yakuza for you, man. You know, you never know what you're gonna get. I really just, I really just don't mind. Hey, I, I think I might have to jump off for now. I'm um, I'm starting to get a bit uh, panicky. Um, I got jazz's stuff of jazz is looping around in my head, and it's starting to make me a bit panicky. I can't really concentrate on the stream when I get like that. 
Hopefully you understand. Sometimes, like, sometimes sometimes the game distracts me, and then sometimes my mind just starts thinking about, like, I'm in my head right now, I'm going over, like, I just keep thinking about a shopping together, and, like, how much I enjoyed going shopping with her, and, um, like, the idea that I won't get to do that again. Like, just so stupid shit, like, when we were in Ikea, not Ikea, when we were in Littles together, and she'd always look at the random, the random shit aisle, and and I'd always, like, poke fun at her for it. But I, like, loved that. And, like, I can't get that out of my head right now. That I might not get to do that again. Oh, I tell my friends I love them all the time. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, uh... Yeah, I, I, this, it's like one of the... It's like a thought that I get, and it just keeps looping in my head, and it starts to, like... Build up into this panic of like, oh shit, I don't, I'm not gonna get to do that again. And um, yeah, don't know, pretty weird, really weird. <sighs> right, okay, I'm gonna jump off. Um, I'll be back tomorrow for a longer stream because I'll be with Good tomorrow. Um, and having someone else on stream with me helps me quite a bit at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I'll be, I'll be back tomorrow with Good, and we'll be playing um more Halo. We're going to be playing, I think, ODST tomorrow. So don't forget to, you can sponsor us for some ODST. Whew. Right, anyway. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'm going to go. Uh, I'll, see, I'll see you all tomorrow, okay?